As you can see here, this is uh, the plate after 24 hours. There's quite a bit of growth. Um, you can kind of see that there's a dilution um, from all the streaks going from very concentrated in bacteria to isolated colonies. Um, the, the colony morphology all looks really similar. So it looks like the streak was a pretty good streak. Um, if, you, if you were to see different colony morphologies or different colors popping out, chances are you're gonna have to maybe streak more than three times. Um, this one looks like it's on its way to, to being a pure culture, but it does need to get picked and restreaked at least two more times. So what we're going to pick from here are some of those more isolated colonies on the upper right-hand side. And we're going to take those and we're going to transfer them over onto a new plate. We're going to label the plate. And this new plate is going to have the same information as you see on this plate, except the date is going to be updated. And that last number after A1 on the bottom of the plate, it's going to be A2 instead. And that's going to indicate that it's the second street from the A colony that you picked off of the HH7000X solution plate. And for this uh, streak that we're going to do for streak two, we're going to do this uh, method called the streak uh, T streak. Yeah, you can do the method that we used in the previous plate, or you can use a, a T streak. Sometimes if you have trouble with the, the method that we used in the original plate, because you can't really see where you're streaking, because the lines look, you know, are transparent when you're when you're inoculating, um, you can draw lines onto the plate that will kind of help guide you into the different quadrants that you're or sections of the plate to, to sort of dilute out the bacteria. So I'm going to section the plate in half, and then I'm going to half that half, um, one of the halves, on only one side. And where I'm going to pick the colony with the toothpick, and these toothpicks have been autoclaved and sterilized, so everything in there is um, sterile. Make sure to keep washing your hands and, and spraying your hands down in the bench with bleach in between. So I'm going to take a fresh toothpick. I'm going to pick the colony that, I, that, I, that I'm choosing off of the first streak. I'm just going to dab in there. You don't have to go crazy. And then you're going to go back and forth. Uh, I find that the toothpicks kind of gouge the agar. Um, and it's not as nice as using the inoculating loop. But what is nice about the toothpicks is you can work faster. Uh, so after you've loaded that first section, you're going to get a fresh toothpick. You're going to toss the other one. And you're going to just drag some lines. Uh, three, which is a good number. You're going to toss that toothpick and you're going to drag a uh, a few more lines from from that last quadrant you streaked and then you're going to kind of taper off and that should give you um, some isolated colonies in that last section uh, after 24 hours of inoculation. So here you can see what that tea streak plate looks like after 24 hours. It's not as cute as the first plate but it does get the job done and you do have isolated streaks at the end. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself if you gouge the agar using the toothpick message or even with the inoculating loops like you are learning and it does take time and practice to kind of finesse these uh, techniques.